Hey everyone, it's Brent Hotley. Yeah, same Brent, just a little less hair as you can see, a little less weight. Praise the Lord for that. I wish so much we could be there to see each and every one of you and to give you a hug and uh, tell you how much you mean to me. Um, but we're on our way back to Switzerland, so we can't we can't do that. Yes, we live in Switzerland. Uh, it might be a surprise to some of you. We're we're actually missionaries. My wife and I are, and our kids are there, and just love it. There's not a week that goes by that I don't think about all the fun times we had and all the all the different things that we went through together at Hershey Free. All the 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 laughter and the 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 Bible study and and the, and the tears and the the fun that the you know I remember Wednesday nights getting together and. Tuesday morning prayer, that was always a hoot. And of course, uh, the retreats. I just loved spending the, the weekends with you on the retreats. And and wish I could be there again, but we can't. Now this video is actually Pete Ziff's idea. After I graduated from Lower Dolphin, I went to a place called Bradley Academy in York. I learned how to do graphic design, and I got a job at the Sun newspaper in Hummelstown. Uh, I didn't really like that job. And Jerry Meadows knew I was looking for another place, and, and through him, I actually got a job at a place called Susquehanna Design and Printing, which is up in Millersburg. That's about an hour north of Harrisburg. And it was there uh, I got the job, and then a month after that, Jen and I got married in her hometown of Pine Grove. We'd been looking for a local church up in Millersburg for about a year, and we finally found one that was great. And so we were going to this place called David's Church, and... Uh, while we were there, there was a missionary that came from Switzerland, of all places. Many of you remember that my dad is from Switzerland, and I loved everything that had to do with Switzerland. And so, we was listening to him speak. He was a missionary with Child Evangelism Fellowship, and he was a graphic designer and an artist and photographer. And I just loved it. Uh, you know, everything that he did is the stuff that I would kind of do. And so, uh, he and I s spent an hour talking with each other. But it wasn't until later, about a year later, that I found out that where he worked at, the CF European headquarters, a place called Kiltzimmer, they'd been looking for a full-time graphic designer for two years. And so, for Jen and I, that was pretty much the call. We weren't looking at getting into missions, but, but when we realized that we had a need that we could fill, then that was our call. And so, we ended up going to Kiltzimmer for a month to see if that's what God wanted us to do. And sure enough, he definitely... Um, wanted us to be there. That was that was definitely in his plan. We really sensed that. We joined up with CF in 2001. We became missionaries with them. And then in 2003, we took the plane and moved to Switzerland. We've been in Switzerland for six years now. It's, it's been an incredible time. Uh, both of our children have been born there. Uh, Amy is four years old and Christopher is just about two. Uh, they both have dual citizenship, just like Jen and I have. One of the things I do as a graphic designer for CEF is create all kinds of materials to be used throughout all of Europe. That's, that's in 41 languages. It's really incredible. We do all our graphic design in English, and then different people in other countries, different CEF workers, will translate that into their own language. And the designs we do, we work on anything from uh, manuals that will be directly for the, for the children, we do Bible correspondence courses. And we do manuals for teachers. We do things that will help them out. Not only do I do graphic design, but I also train people. I mentioned that we do the layout and design of things there at the European headquarters, and it gets sent off to other countries. But not all the people, all the CF workers in those countries, know how to use the software. We use the Adobe Creative Suite using Adobe Illustrator, uh, InDesign, and Photoshop, and even Adobe Acrobat. And a lot of these people, they don't know how to use these programs. And so what, what I do is I will travel to these countries and I will uh, give them a course, a very short course, on the printing process, on how things get printed, and also how to use the software so that they can take the designs that I have done and translate it and put it in their own language. Those courses have taken me to Romania, to the Czech Republic and Poland. Uh, and even to Armenia. Two years ago I was in Armenia and had the awesome opportunity to teach four men, uh, CF workers, how to use this software. They had a mountain of material that they had translated, but they didn't know how to do the layout and the printing for these things. And praise the Lord, we were able to, to get a lot uh, accomplished there, and they were able to learn. And now they are printing a lot of their own materials and getting a lot of things in the hands of children that need to hear the gospel. 
We'd love for you to get in touch with us and, and to uh, let us know how you're doing. You throw us an email. Our, our email address is hotly at ggs.ch. We even have a website. It's hotly.org. We, we have a blog spot as well. Thanks. We love you guys. We miss you. Uh, I miss you a lot. And I, uh, I, I was really hoping to see you. Lord willing, I'll be able to see you again maybe three years' time, which is when we're hoping to come back to the States. God bless you.